it's very evident that there, there is uh, a justifiable pride within JDF. It's recognition of the historic links between, between the UK military and the JDF. And I think that that's very, very evident to me when I, I visit the JDF and find uh, from CDS down with so many officers that have trained with United Kingdom. Yes. Uh, and uh, I, I like to think that we'll be able to continue to support that development. Um, but it also strikes me that Jamaica is dealing with some very evident security issues and you know, we can't escape those. Uh, and it's important from my perspective that, that JDF fulfills the part that Jamaica requires mm -hmm. JDF to fulfill um, in partnership with, with the police force. And so it is a, you know, I think when dealing with these security issues, there's a balance between policing and where then you need to use your military forces. Uh, and of course, you know, the, the policing of our nations, uh, as in the UK, you know, that's the primary responsibility of the police forces. Mm -hmm. and if we're using our military in support of those police forces, then, then you know, it's with a clear operational objective uh, based on the security requirements. Um, and I think that, that anywhere that we've got JCF and JDF operating successfully and effectively together, then that's, that's a strong demonstration of, of Jamaican security architecture work. We're at a strategic point of reflection within the MOD as to, to exactly how we should approach the, the contemporary threats that exist, but also those potential future threats. And, and I don't think any of us can escape, as, as the High Commission has referred to, now, that evolving nature of, of threats and the digitalization of those threats. Um, so I think it's fair to say that as, as armed forces ourselves in the UK, we're, we're looking at how we deal with that ourselves. I think those developments within our forces will, will develop the way in which we engage with partners. Um, but I think the important thing to stress is that, that my dialogue with Jamaican Defence Force, with Jamaica, within the Caribbean, is about properly understanding those threats that are a concern to our partners here, and then identifying through discussion with the UK about how we may support in those areas. Um, I'm not in a position now to say that we are able to support in one area or another, mm -hmm. only that we will be having continual dialogue in the light of the strategic review that's been, being undertaken about the, the engagement from the UK Ministry of Defence with our partners over here. Um, that, that could be in any number of areas.